Hello friends, so here is another question on full wave rectifier circuits. So the question is that in a bridge rectifier, the transformer is connected to a 200 volt 60 hertz AC supply with the turns ratio, the transformer turns ratio 11 is to 1. Assuming the diodes to be ideal, that is zero forward resistance and zero cut in voltage, find the DC value of the voltage the DC value of the current VDC, IDC and the peak inverse voltage PIP. The load resistance value is equal to 600 ohm. So first this is a bridge type rectifier, uh, full wave rectifier circuit. So it is very you know uh, it is uh, good to draw the circuit diagram to be clear about what the various circuit parameters are. So first the AC supply, okay. the transformer, okay. This is the low resistance D1, D2, D3, D4. All diodes are ideal, okay? Ideal diodes. <coughs> Turns ratio 11 is to 1. Supply is 200 volt RMS value and 60 hertz input frequency, okay? everything this is uh, 600 ohms low resistance value okay first things first we have the turns ratio with us we know that the turns ratio np by ns is related to the primary voltage the primary winding voltage and the secondary winding voltage same goes for the rms values also so np by ns that is 11 by 1 is equal to 200 volt RMS value primary RMS value this is the RMS value okay primary winding RMS value 200 by secondary winding RMS voltage that implies the secondary winding RMS voltage is equal to 200 by 11 that is equal to it is coming let us calculate is coming around <coughs> 18.18 volt okay this is the RMS value the maximum value of the secondary winding voltage is simply root 2 multiplied with VS RMS because for sinusoidal AC supply maximum value is equal to root 2 into the RMS value so root 2 multiplied with 18 Point one eight volts, which is equal to uh, twenty five point seven volt. That is the maximum value of the secondary winding voltage. Now, a very important point in bridge type rectifier circuits is that the maximum value of the secondary winding voltage or the secondary winding voltage is same as the maximum value of the voltage which is subjected to the four diodes in the bridge type arrangement okay so here vs max is equal to v max okay that is very important which is equal to 25.7 volt this is only for bridge type 
full wave rectifiers. In center tapped, it is V max is equal to V S max by two. So it would have been twenty five point seven by two, the maximum value for center tap full wave rectifier. This is for bridge type full wave rectifiers. Now everything is very clear. Simply put the formulas and get the result. DC value we all know is equal to two V max by pi. This is only applicable. This formula related to voltage is only applicable when diodes are ideal. That is zero forward resistance leading to zero forward voltage drops. Two V max by pi is equal to two into twenty five point seven by pi which is equal to one minute two into twenty two into twenty five point seven by three point one four okay sixteen point three six 16.36 volt this is the dc value of the output voltage now this dc current which flows through the output load resistance okay this dc current it flows through the load resistance which is equal to 600 ohms so that is equal to vdc okay vdc by load resistance this vdc is the output always remember this is rectifier okay this is a rectifier circuit which converts ac to dc so whatever dc voltage we are getting it is we are getting at the output across the load resistance so load voltage dc voltage whatever you call it, it is the same thing so okay so vdc by rl vdc output by rl which is equal to 16.36 volt this output voltage across the load Divided by RL, which is equal to six hundred ohms, that is equal to sixteen point three six divided by six hundred. It is coming around zero point zero two seven amperes, or we can express it as twenty seven point two six milliamperes. Point two six milliamperes. Okay. Remaining is uh, peak inverse voltage for bridge type full wave rectifiers. The peak inverse voltage is equal to the maximum value of the secondary winding voltage, which is equal to V max. Okay, the negative side that is twenty five point seven volt. It is basically the reverse voltage that is minus twenty five point seven volt because it is the maximum value of the reverse voltage. Okay, this. During the negative half cycle, which is subjected to the diode, this is minus twenty five point seven volt. Because the same goes for the positive half cycle also. This is plus twenty five point seven volt. Magnitude is twenty five point seven volt. That's why we say peak inverse voltage is simply the value is twenty five point seven volt. Okay. This. Okay. This. So this is again a very uh, you know good question related to bridge type rectifier. Simple and straightforward. All you had to do is basic idea of uh, transformer turns ratio, how to relate it with the primary and secondary winding voltage, formulas related to the interchanging of RMS maximum and DC, that, and putting these formulas to get the values of the. Uh, required parameters that is vdc idc and peak inverse voltage okay